Okay. I'm going to turn on the fan and I'm going to get to cooking here. Okay. All right, I'm coming out of my sabbatical. Um, I found some lamb that was really nicely priced. I got it on a good deal. Sometimes you can go to a um, the market and find out um, what their specials are. A lot of the markets, they want to get rid of the meat, so they hurry up and they discount it to get rid of them. Um, and then I have some kurabi and some carrots and some potatoes that are soaking in here. I have some cauliflower. I have some green beans. I, of course, you can make this vegetarian if you want. And this is some tomato and some... Uh, this, these are dried... Um, some dried apricots. And I have a mixture of spices. And I have another spice that I'm going to be using. But, um, so I'm going to season my meat with that. Now I'm going to make kind of like a, um, hmm, kind of like a Moroccan, uh, Moroccan stew, lamb stew infused with some Indian spices. And using some of their techniques or using some of their, I don't know. And it, it, I've been... I've been looking at some of these videos and I thought, ah, <laughs> those look so good. So what I'm going to do is um, incorporate some of the foods that I see. I can look at a food and if they tell me where they're at, then I can um, pretty much um, uh, kind of get some ideals. So this is basically a, like a Moroccan stew. So first and foremost, I'm going to heat up my skillet here okay and I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil and some of this algae stuff that I, I found in the market I don't know where it came from but hey I'm going to use it and put some plenty of oil that's about a couple tablespoons okay I don't think I'm measuring too much here now I'm going to go ahead and season my um, couple of steaks. These are like, um, what are they? Let me look. Let's see. I just got it. They're the pork shoulder. See? There you go. And I got it. That's not the price I paid for it. And I got it discounted. So, some pork shoulder. I want to turn that over. And um, I'm going to use my other, well, I'm going to use a spoon now since I touched it. Because you don't want to cross-contaminate. Okay. And I like cooking the meat first. So it has a combination of salt in there with some other little spices that I added. And so the base it is salt and pepper. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and lay it in there. Cook it. No, this is not a snot rag. <laughs> I know it's spring, but... <laughs> This is just a paper towel that I was using. <laughs> just in case you were, just in case you were wondering, <laughs> what's mom got the, because <laughs> I know my kids are watching, so, okay. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this fat in there. And that's the fat that I trim. Because I want some of that fat okay, to go in with all the veggies and stuff. I'm going to lower it. So I have it on high, and I'm going to make sure your skillet's hot. You know, I love it when people tell me, oh, you should do this and you should do that with your cooking. It's like, you know what, I've been cooking since I was 12. And um, I'm now 
60 and I don't say this pridefully but um, when you have your basics of your cooking down then you can pretty much um, cook anything uh, the only challenge I think I would ever have is Asian but even that you know as long as you learn the methods and the techniques it, it should be really simple for you so uh, once you know the, the basics and and it becomes your passion and it becomes part of your your life and love or whatever then you can go from there you can create all kinds of dishes trust me so okay I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over Yum. All right, look good and then you just let that fat sear in there this is going to be a hearty meal it's not a vegan but you can make it a vegan dish by simply removing the meat and if you want to substitute the meat I would do like a mushroom. I would do like a cremini mushroom. They be, they're a little meatier, but I wouldn't put the mushroom. No, I'd probably put it at the same time. Well, yeah, I would put it in because the mushroom has a, a meaty kind of texture. It's got the flesh is kind of meaty and then you kind of bite it and they're flavorful. And it's an umami too, so yeah, you use it, so. Okay, alrighty. Oh, it smells so good, this lamb. Oh! Okay. Right. So, part of my diet that I, when I lost all kinds of weight and became, my, my, my cholesterol went down and my sugars went down, was I was able to eat lamb. And I was able to eat, and, and, and I kind of blew it over the over the holidays, like I said before in that other video. But um, after being a part of this program, I dropped like 20 pounds. And basically, yeah, I did, I kind of was going there, becoming a vegan, but when I felt like my body was about, ooh. So I had some white fish. So I love white fishes and lamb and eggs you can have eggs so it's not a vegan diet in the try I'm going back towards that <laughs> the holidays so and and it's called an elimination diet you can you can look it up I mean you can ask your doctor about it it's fairly new but it helped me a lot so and my doctor said Mary it's a miracle because I was taking all these meds and she goes Mary it's a miracle and she goes up oh, and she kind of cut got on me because I went again and after the holidays and it didn't look so good so I'm going back on it but um, and then doing some interval fasting so like a lot of fasting in between meals and, and maybe just doing like one meal even one meal a day so it kind of helps this is not a diet recipe or this is not a diet program I'm not trying to get anybody to get on a diet program but this is like some recipes that I, I wanted to share along with my diet program I guess you could say that okay so you don't have to eliminate your meat if you're a meat eater but green as the thing greens <laughs> but I do use um, steel oats and the steel oats um, help you um, work your pancreas for those who have some diabetic issues from what I gather from what I've learned and I suck it all in uh, when I'm learning um, part of that is that um, your pancreas basically got lazy so you, you have to help it to produce I'm not saying don't eliminate your medicines or whatever but you have to make your 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 pancreas um, work by eating raw raw vegetables mm -hmm. and then the um, and the overnight oats steel oats which I use um, with almond milk I mean, that's pretty good and I try to get the almond milk without all those fillers so as much as possible I can't get it all the time but it helps
God. That looks so good. So. Okay. I gotta try this. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That's good. Mmm, smooth. Yeah. And now, I'm going to go ahead and add. Oh, let me tell you what I have. Those are cardamom seeds, allspice, cinnamon, true cinnamon. Now, there's a difference between regular cinnamon and, cinnamon and true cinnamon. Usually go put the whole cinnamon stick, but I didn't. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there. A little bit of pepper flakes, smoked paprika, masala, ginger, cumin, uh, curry. I know that's curry. Oh, did I say coriander? Mm, that's coriander. I think. Oh, and that's uh, masala. Sorry. Masala, coriander, ginger, that what that was. Oh, it's mace. That's a little mace. There's all kinds of forms you can get. That's old spice in there. You can see that. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and mix that up. break down. Oops. You could use the, um, I'm just going to break them. Because you can remove them. And I'm missing some bay leaves, so I ran out of bay leaves. Mmm. <laughs> smells so good. Okay. Oh my god, that smells so good. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it in there. Let's drop it like it's hot. And then you want to cook those spices. Really. Okay. Organized over here at the same time. And I made these chunky because that's what I want. I want chunky, chunky stew. So I'm going to go ahead and drop those in. Go ahead and add the tomatoes in there. Okay. Add the tomatoes and add the um, slivers of of uh, apricot and I, I'm thinking that if you don't if you don't have apricots you can go ahead and use something else and then I have some um, string beans I'm just gonna put on top like that yeah and then my cauliflower on top That's going to be the basis of my, oh, I could just, it smells so good. So, and then I'm going to add some water to it. Add some water. 
money. Take me to Morocco. <laughs> so I'm going to add a couple. So, okay. So I only know a couple members of the family who's actually gone to Morocco. Oh, one, that is. And I'm going to put some more green beans in there. Because I like green beans. And these are the, those little skinny, little skinny ones. 